um, Petition 1660 by Bill Tate and Petition 1661 by Melanie Collins. Both petitions raise similar issues relating to the current system for complaints about legal services in Scotland. Members have a copy of the petitions and the respective SPICE briefings. Petition 1660 is calling on the Scottish Parliament to urge the Scottish Government to review the operation of the Scottish Legal Complaints Commission to make the process of legal complaints more transparent and independent. Petition 1661 is calling on the Scottish Parliament to urge the Scottish Government to reform and amend the regulations of complaints about the legal profession in Scotland, which is currently delegated to the Scottish Legal Complaints Commission by creating a new independent regulator of legal services with powers equivalent to the Solicitor's Regulation Authority, Legal Ombudsman, Bar Standards Board and Solicitor's Disciplinary Tribunal, which serve consumers and clients of legal service providers in England and Wales. I wonder if members have any comments or suggestions for action on this petition. Can Michelle? I, can I check? I mean, obviously, the, there is a review underway um, that was launched in April of this year, but not due to report to the end of next year. Um, and I, it seems to me that's an awful long time. So that's my sort of first comment. Um, I am concerned about the, the sort of Turkey's voting for Christmas arrangement that that is there in terms of that oversight. Um, and I do think that, that there perhaps does need to be some, some clear water between lawyers and those people who are reviewing them. Um, it does feel a bit close for comfort. But I do think we should check in with where the review is going, what it's looking at, you know, because if, if the review is already launched, do we need to be doing something parallel alongside it? Okay. Um, thanks, Convener. I, I think both these petitions are um, extremely timely. Um, both Bill Tate and Melanie Collins highlight serious issues with regard to legal and um, with regard to legal uh, the, the legal profession and and the way that uh, the SLCC operates uh, with regard to complaints. Uh, I would agree with M Melanie Collins that there's a, a strong argument in favour of creating a new independent regulator of legal services, and I agree with Bill Tate's call to make the process of legal complaints uh, more transparent and independent. And in recent years, we've also seen a degree of conflict between the SLCC and the Law Society over the operation of the complaint system, uh, and I'm sure I wasn't the only MSP to, to receive representation from the Law Society earlier this year. Uh, stating their frustration and disappointment uh, in the increase in the SLCC levy uh, to be paid by solicitors, and also stated the complaint system was slow, complex, cumbersome, and expensive. So there's no doubt in my mind that this is the right time for this to be looked at. Um, as uh, Michelle Ballantyne's mentioned, the Scottish Government has acknowledged that uh, uh, the current process for people wishing to make complaints about their solicitor are too slow and, and too complex. Um, so I was certainly pleased to see the Scottish Government launch their independent review of the regulation. However, I would take on board uh, Michelle's, Michelle Ballantyne's point that um, the fact that it's not due to report back until the end of 2018 does seem to be quite a lengthy period. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, clearly we can contact the Government for clarification. But I think, given the, the similarity of, of these two petitions, um, there's a strong argument to join them together uh, to help them move forward. Okay. Are we agreeing, first of all, that we should join them together? Because it does seem to me that they're, yeah. they're um, applying the same issues. Yeah. Yeah. OK. <coughs> Brian? Was the, was the, was the, did the Law Society not call for a change? Yeah. And then well, that was rebuffed? Is, is that, am I correct in that? I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but they it certainly weren't the happy. Levy. It was to do with the levy, and they weren't happy with, with some of the yeah. um, the operation of the SLCC, but they haven't, as far as I'm aware, formally called for a change. So I, I thought they were investigating this very point, and it was rebuffed at some point. I might be wrong. I don't, it would be worth, I think, um, just getting clear in our own heads where all of that is, and we can obviously ask... Um, for that information. Um, it would be, so we want to write to the Scottish Government about the timescale for their review and its remit, um, and I think to write to the relevant stakeholder bodies to ask what their issues are. I mean, it doesn't feel like a very long time since this legislation was passed, so it, there would be a natural time to be looking and reflecting on whether it's 
um, is effective and what the alternatives would be. My sense was at the time when this went through the Parliament, we wrestled with what all the different options were. It wasn't something that just went through without any debate, so it would be looking at um, how people feel that that has... Is it a bedding-in issue or is it an actual structural problem with it? Um, and do we need to... And actually, as the petitioner would suggest, we have to revisit this and, and get a different kind of regulatory body. OK, so um, I think we've agreed then, as I said, right, the Scottish Government, the Complaints Commission, the Law Society, the Faculty of Advocates, um, Citizens Advice, I think, was mentioned, and Scottish Solicitors Discipline Tribunal. Any others? I wonder, convener, if it would be worth contacting the Judicial Complaints Reviewer, um, although he or she would deal with judicial complaints, uh, as is in the title, but um, it would be good, I think, to, to get, uh, get the view of the JCR as well, um, just okay. to, if, if, they, if, they, if they have one, they don't, they don't, they're not compelled to, to reply, but it would be good to hear their views if they have one. Okay, okay that's agreed then. Um, we'll deal with both those petitions in that way.